Okay, here we go. I'm going backwards here. Question 1. 1 1.1. Determine the gradient of AB. Well, they tell us that the angle AB makes with here is 45 degrees. So that's enough. They give us um, these other points, but we know that the angle is 45 degrees. Well, you know that the tangent of an angle is equal to the gradient. So the tangent of 45 degrees is 1. So that gradient must just be 1. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now we've got to figure out t. Well, if we find the gradient between a and b, we'd have to go 3 minus 0 over 1 minus t. Like that. And then all you do is multiply both sides by 1 minus t. 3 minus 0 is 3. 1 times 1 minus t. You see it cancels here. And there's your answer. Now add t and subtract 3. You're going to get t equals I subtracted 3, and I added t to both sides, and that gave me t is equal to minus 2. Okay, now here, show that p is equal to 2. Well, we can do that. All we have to do is use, we're given that ac is root 150 units, we just have to use the distance formula. We know that ac is root 50, so if we square ac, it'll be 3 plus 4 squared over 1 minus p squared. It might have been better to go the other way and make it p minus 1, but that's not so hard. 1 times 1 gives me 1 squared is 1, minus p squared is plus p squared, and the other part and the inside and outside make it minus 2p. Oh, here's something nice. Root 50 squared is 50, and 49 plus 1, 7 squared plus 1 is 50. Take away the 50 from both sides, and there you have it. P times P minus 2. See that common factor right there? You look for P's in both. You bring it outside. The thing you must be looking for is P equals 2. That's got to be it. Now that you know P is 2, finding the midpoint of BC is going to be pretty easy because we know that T is equal to... 2 minus 2, we know p is equal to positive 2. So minus 2 plus 2 divided by 2. The midpoint formula tells us to add the x values and divide by 2. Well, minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So the x value of the midpoint is 0. Hey, that looks right in the diagram. And then we add up the y value. 0 plus minus 4 divided by 2, the y inter, um, coordinate must be minus 2. So that's 0 along and minus 2 down, and it even looks right. So there you go.